morning us good morning is it turning out to be happy diwali for parle ji aur abhi thila yeah, hai mamla definitely i think uh, this festive season has been better than uh, <clears throat> last year i think uh, a lot uh, of that owes to the revival in rural demand so i guess uh, given that we have you know strong rural demand coming in uh, that's doing or that's working well for most fmcg companies uh so the demand drop which came for parle products and especially entry level biscuit category which is what parle represents you've been talking about inflationary pressure and drop in demand has that reversed can we say that the bottom is in place and now incrementally demand and also pricing is coming back yeah so uh, nikunj as you rightly said i think uh, uh, you know the challenge on uh, uh, increase in input, input prices or inflation food inflation remains uh, so while you know most companies are grappling with that thankfully demand is something that's you know uh, good i mean that's not an issue currently so we are seeing a revival of demand in the rural which was a concern uh, we all know about that you know since last one one and a half year the rural was probably not growing uh, or was growing you know at a meager rate of just about 1 or 2% now that's been taken care of uh, we are seeing strong demand coming in from rural uh, urban demand uh, relatively has been resilient so i think uh, this festive and uh, i mean normally festive season you know typically starts for us from about uh, august onwards so you have 15th august and raksha bandhan onam uh, ganpati ganesh chaturthi or puja and then dasara and all those things you know uh, following so uh, all the way till uh, christmas so uh, i think you know we've seen good demand coming in uh, from rural india uh, good revival of demand Uh, in the initial part of the festive times and we expect that to continue uh, all the way till uh, diwali and even post diwali so term which i learned couple of years ago from fmcg companies called shrinkflation right which is that if prices go higher the weightage or the weight of a biscuit goes lower right yeah. number of biscuits don't go lower but the weight goes lower Are Absolutely. those tricks over now? Are you likely to increase the In biscuit fact, it quantity? In fact, it was exactly opposite. I think you know, if you look at last, uh, I'm not talking about very recent times, last two months, but prior to that, it was a reverse phenomenon. So what had happened was, if you remember, last to last year when um, edible oil had you know gone uh, to unprecedented level, we are talking about you know edible oil going to almost about two hundred, two hundred twenty rupees uh, a liter. uh for kg some of the varieties uh, that was the time most companies had taken you know uh, price hikes to the tune of almost about 20 25% of course in a phased manner you know 8 10% every time and that's when this things happened but uh, uh, if we talk about edible oil edible oil came down from uh, about you know 200 rupees to almost about 100 rupees i'm talking about you know before the uh, increase in uh, customs duty was levied uh so uh, i think most companies passed back in fact almost all companies passed back the benefit of lower input cost to consumers so uh, shrinkle shrinkflation what you're talking about was you know something that happened when uh, oil prices went up about uh, two years back but in last one one and a half year it was exactly the opposite in fact you know you would have seen a lot of promotion uh, in terms of you know some biscuits free or you know higher weight per packet uh, or if they are bigger packets then you know some kind of a price off or discount being given to consumers so at what rate you expect parleji to grow in terms of a volume growth now so uh, in fact you know uh, if we talk about last one one and a half year um, volume growth was higher i mean most fmcd companies because they had to take that uh, uh, price cuts or pass on the benefit of uh, reduction in uh, input cost to consumers they had a higher volume growth compared to value growth i think most companies grew at about 8 to 10% in terms of volume our value growth was just about 2 to 3% that was primarily because you know everybody had taken a, 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 a price correction however uh, uh, you know now as we talk about uh, you know uh, uh, the current uh, you know inflation as in where we have seen because of the customs duty oil prices going up or you know cocoa prices you know uh, almost 2x 3x compared to one year back uh we are seeing you know some strengthening of uh, uh or some increase in prices happening in products and that will some that would be something that would lead to you know positive or a higher uh, value growth compared to volume growth so currently as we speak i think volume and value growth are both to the tune of about 7 8% but going forward we may see uh, value growth outpacing volume growth so can i 
they say that the worst of the contraction of demand is behind Parle G and the biscuit industry and now things will accelerate only and the 12 to 20, 18 month outlook is quite decent in India terminology, not rosy but sweet. Yeah, 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 absolutely. So, you know, I think uh, there is that cautious optimism. Uh, I mean, you know, if I have to put it in one word uh, and uh, almost all FMCG companies are looking at a good uh, festive uh, sale. Uh, plus, I think, you know, given that uh, we have good monsoon this year and uh, uh, I've been saying that the single most important variable as far as rural demand is concerned uh, in India is, you know, the uh, the uh, normalness of monsoon or, you know, uh, a little higher uh, than normal rainfall. So with good monsoons, I think, you know, we are expecting uh, good demand and uh, uh, strong good demand man. coming in from rather uh, rural. That would probably, you know, add momentum to the total demand story of India. All right, man. Really appreciate There comes a time when your heart calls for you to arise. Plant your feet solid into the ground. Decide your own limits. And then break right through them. Become something more. It's my time to rise.